Don Muang International Airport, Thai, De Zakazian Dxenemoang pronounced DNMA, or colloquially as Thai, Snam Bin Dxenemoang pronounced Sa, NM, Bin, DN, Emma, IATA, DMK, ICAO, VTBD, aka Bangkok International Airport is one of two international airports serving Greater Bangkok, the other one being Suwanapum Airport. BKK. The airport is considered to be one of the world's oldest international airports and Asia's oldest operating airport. It was officially opened as a Royal Thai Air Force base on 27 March 1914, although it had been in use earlier. Commercial flights began in 1924, making it one of the world's oldest commercial airports. The first commercial flight was an arrival by KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. In September 2006, Don Muang Airport was closed and replaced by the newly opened Suwanapum Airport, before reopening on 24 March 2007 after renovations. Since the opening of the new airport, it has become a regional commuter flight hub and the de facto low cost airline hub. In 2015, it became the world's largest low cost carrier airport. Don Muang previously carried the BKK IATA code, subsequently transferred to Suwanapum, and was an important hub of Asia and the hub of Thai Airways International prior to its closure. At its peak, it served most air traffic for the entire country, with 80 airlines operating 160,000 flights and handling over 38 million passengers and 700,000 tons of cargo in 2004. It was then the 14th busiest airport in the world and second in Asia by passenger volume. Currently, Don Muang is the main hub for Nok Air, Thai AirAsia, Thai Lion Air, and Nugen Airways. History Early years Don Muang Airfield was the second established in Thailand, after Sa Patham Airfield, which is now Sa Patham Horse Racing Course, known as the Royal Bangkok Sports Club. The first flights to Don Muang were made on 8 March 1914 and involved the transfer of aircraft of the Royal Thai Air Force. Three years earlier, Thailand had sent three army officers to France to train as pilots. On completion of their training in 1911, the pilots were authorized to purchase eight aircraft, four brigades and four Newports, which formed the basis of the Royal Thai Air Force. Sa Patham Airfield was established in February 1911 with an arrival by Orville Wright, seven years after the invention of the first airplane by the Wright brothers on 17 December 1903. In 1933, the airfield was the scene of heavy fighting between royalists and government forces during the Boarade Rebellion. The airfield was used by the occupying Japanese during World War II, and was bombed and strafed by Allied aircraft on several occasions. After the war had finished in September 1945 the airfield was occupied by the RAF during the brief British occupation of Thailand until March 1946 when 211 Squadron, which moved there in October 1945, was disbanded. During the Vietnam War, Don Muang was a major command and logistics hub of the United States Air Force. Before the opening of Suwanapum, the airport used the IATA airport code BKK and the name was spelled Don Muang. After Suwanapum opened for commercial flights, the spelling was changed and as Don Muang. It now uses the airport code DMK, though it still retains the ICAO airport code VTBD. The traditional spelling is still used by many airlines and by most Thais. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Closure. The night of 27-28 September 2006 was the official end of operations at Don Muang Airport. The last commercial flights were International departure, although scheduled for Kuwait Airways KU-414 to Kuwait at 2.50, Qantas Flight QF-302 to Sydney, originally scheduled for 1800, was delayed for more than nine hours before finally taking off at 3.12, about ten minutes after the Kuwait flight. Qantas claimed that QF-302 was an extra flight. International arrival, Kuwait Airways from Jakarta at 
Domestic departure, Thai Airways TG-124 to Chiang Mai at 22.15 Coincidentally, when Thai moved domestic operations back to Don Muang again on 28 March 2009, their last departure was also a 22.15 flight to Chiang Mai. Domestic arrival, TG-216 from Phuket at 23.00. Topic. Reopening Commercial carriers deserted Don Muang at the opening of Suwanapum Airport. But the higher operating costs of the new airport and safety concerns over cracked runways at the new airport caused many to seek a return to Don Muang. Low-cost airlines led demands for a reopening of the airport. Airports of Thailand released a report at the end of 2006 which furthered this effort. The report proposed reopening DMK as a way to avoid or delay second stage expansion which had been planned for Suwanapum. On 30 January 2007, the Ministry of Transport recommended temporarily reopening Don Muang while touch-up work proceeded on some taxiways at Suwanapum. The recommendation was subject to approval by the Thai cabinet. On 25 March 2007, the airport officially reopened for some domestic flights. Because of the 2011 Thailand floods that affected Bangkok and other parts of Thailand, the airport was closed as flood waters flowed onto the runways and affected the lighting. Don Muang reopened on 6 March 2012. On 16 March 2012, the government of Thailand and Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat ordered all low-cost, chartered, and non-connecting flights to relocate to Don Muang. This ended the single airport policy. Airports of Thailand was ordered to encourage low-cost carriers to shift to Don Muang to help ease congestion at Suwanapum Airport. Suwanapum Airport was designed to handle 45 million passengers per year, but it processed 48 million in 2011 and number is expected to reach 53 million in 2012. Some 10 airlines may relocate to Don Muang. Budget airline Nok Air is already serving flights from and to Don Muang. Nok Air handles about 4 million passengers per year. Orient Thai Airlines and Thai AirAsia have also started operations at Don Muang. Thai AirAsia carried 7.2 million passengers in 2011. The number is projected to grow to 8 million in 2012. Currently Terminal 1 is capable of handling 18.5 million passengers annually. On 7 September 2013, Airports of Thailand announced its 3 billion baht renovation to reopen Terminal 2 as early as May 2014. Terminal 1's passengers in 2013 will likely reach 16 million against its capacity of 18.5 million. Completion of Terminal 2 in December 2015 increases Don Muang's passenger capacity to 30 million a year. A third phase of Don Muang's expansion plans stretches from 2017 to 2025. It aims to increase the airport's passenger capacity to 70 million per year from its current 38 million passengers in 2017. Scheduled to open in 2021, the terminal will be able to service 40 million passengers a year. Topic: <laughs> Terminals. Don Muang International Airport has two terminals. Terminal 1 is used for international flights and Terminal 2 for domestic flights. The opening of Terminal 2 has raised the airport's capacity to 30 million passengers per year. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Traffic statistics <laughs> 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 Topic. Passenger figures Total passenger traffic through Don Muang jumped 40.7% to 30.3 million in 2015, with international numbers rising 53.1% to 9.17 million and domestic passengers increasing 35.9% to 21.1 million. Aircraft movements rose by 29.8% to 224,074, including 158,804 domestic up 26.2% and 65,270 international up 39.3%. Topic: Busiest domestic routes 2016.
Topic: Busiest international routes 2016. 